After Peter's daughter was born, Peter was reluctant to go out to work. Peter returned to his hometown to live so that he could take better care of his newborn daughter. After Peter returned home, no income was not an option. So Peter came up with the idea of setting up a street stall to sell snacks. What Peter sells is not fruit or grilled wings, but a traditional snack in his hometown. This snack is made from rice, steamed and served with sugar water. Many young people like to eat, but they can't cook it. After Peter's food stall started, it was liked by the customers around. Peter's business is good every day. Five barrels of rice are used up every day. And the 800 bowls Peter makes every day are not enough to sell. With this traditional snack, Peter can earn $500 a day, which is much higher than his income from working outside. How exactly Peter makes this traditional snack? Here is Peter's kitchen. Peter was also busy in the store at this time. The first thing you do when you come to the store is to wash the rice. Since business is good these days, five large barrels of high-quality rice are washed a day. These rices are all from northeast my country. They are round and plump, and they are full of fragrance. After the rice is cleaned, it can be thrown into the machine and polished into rice milk. Peter said that before there was no machine, grinding rice pulp was a very hard work. Because graphite was used to grind rice pulp at that time, and it took a few hours to grind a large bucket, now, with the addition of the machine, it only takes more than 10 minutes to start the machine to grind the rice into rice milk. And the efficiency has also been improved, the rice milk made from high quality rice is as white as milk, after all the rice is ground into rice milk, the rice milk can be poured into a large pot and boiled. As the temperature gradually rises. The rice milk is quickly boiled into a sticky shape, at this time, the rice milk needs to be stirred continuously, after a while, the rice milk becomes sticky, at this time, the surface can be flattened. And then the lid of the pot can be covered and steamed on high heat. During the cooking of the rice milk, Peter also prepared a secret syrup. He poured rock sugar and brown sugar into the warm water, then added some other seasonings. And finally added a spoonful of rice milk to cook together. It didn't take long for the soup to thicken, somewhat similar to the northern pimple soup. After the soup is cooked, the rice milk on the other side has also been steamed and turned into hair cakes. It can be seen that the size of this hair cake is really too big, it looks like a big cake from the outside, after tearing off the tablecloth, you can feel the elasticity of this hair cake, after Peter is ready, he can move the cakes to the booth for sale. Peter will also spread some stewed meat and sausage on top of the hair cake, and finally drizzle a circle of peanut oil, so that the taste will be better together, when customers came to buy, Peter began to cut the cakes for sale. I saw that Peter kept cutting along the edge, and easily cut off a large piece of the cake, and then cut it into small pieces, which can be packaged and sold, finally pour some sugar water soup on top. And a bowl of delicious and delicious steamed cake is ready. A bowl of hair cake like this costs 2 US dollars. Many office workers and retired grandpas and aunts love to eat it. They all say that this is the taste of childhood. And eating a bowl can fill their stomachs. Therefore, Peter's snack bar has a very good business every day. Peter makes 800 bowls a day and it is not enough to sell. Peter's income is also quite considerable. After Peter has this snack bar. Peter can not only see his daughter every day, but also brings security to his daughter, which can be said to kill two birds with one stone. Finally, what do you think of this traditional snack? How do you like the taste? Welcome everyone to leave a message to discuss.